The family is a natural and fundamental unit of society, and it's entitled to protection. This principle is enshrined in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, and it's of crucial importance to us all, but even more so to refugees. Because of the dangers they face in their country of origin, their only option to live with their family members is to bring them to the new host country. Well, regrettably, many of our countries are restricting refugees' ability to reunite with their family members through measures which are unjust, unlawful, and cause immense hardship. Excessively long waiting periods before being allowed to apply for family reunification, limitations to residence status, onerous evidential requirements, prohibitive financial costs, and intrusive medical tests. These are just a few of the obstacles that refugees face in trying to reunite with their family members. Easing the rules on family reunification for refugees is both a human rights obligation and good policy. It can help save lives by providing safe and legal routes to Europe, and can boost refugees and their family members' chances of becoming active members of their new host society. Therefore, governments have to make their laws and their practice more humane and more human rights compliant. They have to ensure that family reunification procedures for all refugees are effective. They have to pay particular attention to children's needs and not impose unreasonable requirements. Living without one's family is often an additional trauma for many refugees. European states should avoid contributing to this unnecessary suffering by helping refugees reunite with their family members in the host country. This is not only a matter of law, but of human dignity.